Hey everybody, this is Brian from DMD Homesteading. I want to do the update for the uh, solid bar LED area and uh, show the progress of how the new chard is coming along. All right, let me grab the camera, take you over there. You can see the uh, little pop-up guy here for the uh, unknown mystery plant. It's starting to put on its grabbers. <laughs> I like to call those their grabbers. But uh, it's getting ready to uh, shoot out some more growth on top here. Just waiting for this thing to actually flower and see what actually comes along on that thing. If it's a cucumber or hopefully it's a cucumber because if it's a squash, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with that thing because I can't have it looping around through here and cutting off all the light because of the, the leaves. But looking at the leaf size, I mean, that's looking more like a, a cucumber than anything else. You can see the new growth is coming up pretty well for the, uh, the new chard in this area that are reseeded. And over here in the Silverado chard, there's the pop-up tomato here that's going along, and you can see all the leaves are starting to really fill in for this chard. Looks like I may need to uh, give it a little more fertilizer. Some of the leaves are kind of yellowish because the water is not too much. So I can feel the soil and it's just, just a little damp. But the regrowth back here, you can see there's a lot of nice healthy leaves that need to be harvested. So we'll come down here and cut some more off of this. And that's the problem, I guess, you know, when you, when you get this much kind of crowding, when you thin it out, you'll start to uncover some of the yellower leaves and the kind of ones that are kind of like half rotted, like these back here, that you just gotta kind of come in and yank out, get them out of there. But, uh, you know, ideally, I'd be down here harvesting this way more than I am, but you get busy during the week and you forget to come down a night or night or two and then it's overgrown like a jungle and you got to really dig in. But hey, having this kind of food available under my house, I'm not going to complain. Uh, the rainbow chard looks nice. So that's kind of the update. Lights are doing well. Haven't had any problems with these lights compared to like I have, you know, in the other video with the, uh, the mid-size tent. But everything's going good. I'm really happy with these deeper trays switching over to these than using those shallow ones. The 1022 or 1020 trays, I think they're 1020s. Uh, these are way more durable. And then when I want to transfer these outside, I've got a really deep root mass. I'm looking forward to putting these out and seeing how well they take off in my uh, upper garden box. You know, the red ones that we have up on our deck that I've shown in a bunch of the other videos that I built last year. I can't wait to see what these are gonna do inside there because they've got that, you know, really deep soil. And this is the second year that I've been amending that soil with, you know, I had a cover crop on it with uh, kind of the plantings I had last year. I'm going to cover it up this year with the plastic and drop all that down and then put these in there. And it should uh, should give it some nice uh, microbial growth from the uh, little microbes that are active in there, you know, once they start waking up from their winter slumber. All right. This is Brian from PMB Homesteading. I'll talk to you guys again. I hope you guys have a great week. All right, bye.